friends welcome to explore youtube channel today in this tutorial video we'll be going to learn about three formulas that is if or and as well as nested if if we learn about these three formulas we would be able to sort our information quickly as well as precisely so once we have our data depending on the need and requirement of our work we would be able to use these three formulas effectively if we would be able to learn these three things as well as the condition being used in the formulas thoroughly where we have a data of customers who have done shopping and they have done shopping of this much amount and these are the products number of products they have procured means purchased the invoice should be above 8000 then only the customer will get 5% discount so how we will calculate this that we would be able to know that somebody has done more than 8000 shopping and then the person is eligible for 5% discount so here is the simple formula we'll start with equal to sign and you put if now once this if comes up click on tab and you will get open parenthesis or open bracket instantly you do not have to press open bracket or parenthesis so this is the amount here in v8 we click on it and we put greater than sign because we have mentioned in a condition above 8000 so what happens if somebody's any more than 8000 then 5 percent discount will be available to that person otherwise nothing and we click on enter so our first condition is fulfilled here because the person has spent more than 8000 here so let's see about rest of the customers here so we drag it down now friends we will do this if formula with all condition so here the condition is invoice should be above 8000 or purchase minimum five products so we put equal to sign here and we put if and click on tab and then we click on all formula and then click on tab or open bracket has come instantly and we will put our first condition that this person who has spent around 14,500 should be greater than 8,000 as per our condition and the second condition we have put is which is the logical tool we have to mention it over here by putting comma and then click on C8 because they have to procure or purchase more than five products so we put over here greater than sign five what happens if that happens we put inverted comma and put seven percent discount here don't forget to put double quotes or double inverted comma before and after the condition because this will help you get your answer right and put comma and put the condition he has spent more than 8000 as well as he has bought more than five products and let's see about rest of the customers so here at the bottom you can see the customer name g although he has spent around equal to 8000 but the product he has purchased is less but in a condition we have mentioned more than 8000 if you put over here equal to sign then what happens then you can see he gets 7% discount but we have not put equal to sign here in a formula so we will come back over here and leave it to rest as for a condition and condition both of the conditions or more than two condition shall be fulfilled it means when somebody is spending more than 8000 or they have been procuring more than eight products if both the conditions are fulfilled then only they will get 10 percent discount equal to sign over here and we start with if condition click on tab and start with new formula that is and and click on tab and we will start a formula here that if b8 greater than 
8000 as well as this condition is C8 greater than 8 products then what happens so we have to close it and put comma here and then what happens then the person will get 10% discount and inverted comma close then we have to put comma if that don't happen then nothing happens so we put zero over here and close the bracket and click on ok enter so we will see about rest of the customers results here so you can see here out of six customers only three will get 10% discount because they have fulfilled both the conditions they are spending more than 8000 and they have been procuring more than eight products and rest might be spending more than 8000 but they are not procuring more than eight products and so on or vice versa now friends our last formula over here is nested if nested if means when we are using if condition in one if condition multiple times condition is invoice should be above 10000 then person will get high discount if greater than 7000 then person will get low discount if spending less than 5000 then person will get our customer will get no discount so how we will use if condition multiple times over here we put equal to sign we start with if then click on tab and we say if this b8 cell where the amount is being presented as in the form of invoice greater than 10,000 and what happens so we put comma over here we start with inverted comma and we mention over here high discount because we mentioned in our condition so we close with inverted comma and again we put comma here and start with new if condition and click on tab to get open bracket instantly again we click on b8 if it is greater than 7000 then what happens we put comma here and we mention in inverted comma low discount and inverted comma to close it as well as comma then what happens we start with third condition if and click on tab and we click on b8 here if it is less than 5000 what happens no discount close it and now friends you have to see carefully here we have used if condition three times but first condition is original so we put first bracket here and for rest two condition we used two times if condition so we have to put two more parentheses or two more closing brackets and then hit on enter so you can see here the first person has got high discount because he has spent more than 10,000 and let's see about rest of the customers here so you can see here the bottom customer who is G is getting low discount because his spending are greater than 7,000 but lower than 10,000 friends we use these three if condition in a, another way so here you can see I have a sales personnel here and they have done insurance business for three months January February March so we will be using if condition for first that equal to if click on tab button now friends if we click on January insurance business for a which is D24 then if it is greater than or equal to now here we will be using equal to sign if they have done business more than G21 or limit we have set then the person is eligible for what for incentive so here we will put comma and then start with double quotes and mention eligible if 
person has done insurance business in January more than a set limit, then he is eligible for incentive status. If not, then we mention another condition here, not eligible. Now friends, you can see here, I put space here after comma, so don't do this mistake, you won't get answer. Close the bracket. Here, a 3500 is for everyone, so we have to fix it. How we can fix it? We have to press F4 key to get dollar sign. If you don't have F4 key working in your Excel spreadsheet, then you have to get Fn key button in your keyboard at the left bottom press Fn button and simultaneously press F4 you will get dollar sign like I have got right now and then hit on enter so you will see this person is eligible for incentive status because he has done in January business more than 3500 in actually he has done 5000 so we drag the answer down and you will see we get the answer so here we will use equal to sign and we start with if condition and click on tab afterwards we have to mention our formula and click on tab and this time we are covering February and March so we click on Feb E24 is greater than equal to a set limit as well as for month of March we click on F24 if it is greater than or equal to our set limit we click on G21 again then what happens so we have to close the bracket here and put comma and in inverted comma mentions eligible inverted comma close and put another condition if that don't happens we start with two another inverted comma or double quotes And we have to close the bracket now friends like first then we have to lock g21 by pressing f4 or fn plus f4 simultaneously so we get the right answer once we drag down and you can see here once i drag down i get right answer like we have done a uh, and function earlier friends you know that in and condition we have to fulfill both the conditions if both the conditions are not fulfilled so we won't be able to get the right answers so our end condition is if a is eligible in here as well as here then only he will be getting incentive status if we are using and condition like B is not eligible here but eligible here for February and March so in end condition he won't get incentive as per the condition being implemented if we are using and condition so how to use so we start over here with equal to sign and click on tab start with and click on tab we click on d24 if it is greater than equal to a B21 so we lock it right now so what happens we start with our condition here and because in our condition we had used February and March simultaneously so right now we use our condition here E24 greater than equal to G21 so we lock it right now comma Similarly, we do it for March and we lock it here again. And close the bracket here. And this time we have to mention eligible if both the conditions are fulfilled if any of the condition is not being fulfilled then not eligible 
we close it now friends you can see here eligible as per end condition so it so this gives us much more precise and quick answer in less time friends i hope you like this video please like share and subscribe explore youtube channel so i can bring up more videos for you thank you for watching explore youtube channel